open intelligence is synonymous with our mind. Yes, so our, our intelligence, basically. Our intelligence, our basic intelligence is uh, completely open. It's not a closed system. It's an open system. It's open intelligence. Um, it's what is looking through your eyes. What's listening to these words? What is sensing? What is um, feeling? Um, what knows? That's what open intelligence is. So open intelligence is at the basis of everything we feel, we think, we experience. That is open intelligence. And to introduce yourself to that, just stop thinking for a moment, just for the beginning. You don't need to continue stop thinking. But just as an invitation now, stop the train of thoughts and relax and recognize what remains. What remains when you stop thinking, even for an instant. Clarity, stability, the power to know. The power to know remains. And of course, the next thought comes, right? And that's what knows the next thought that's open intelligence. The next thought, the next sensation, recognize that it appears within this basic intelligence, which calls open intelligence. So all, oh, you can't hear me? My hair. So all, all um, thoughts, emotions, sensations, other experiences, in the balance view training, we call it data, like an information. And data appear in open intelligence. That makes sense. All thoughts and emotions appear in open intelligence, and also they're inseparable from open intelligence. So our thoughts, emotions, sensations are inseparable from our mind, from our power to know, from the nature of our mind. Yes, and so now the practice of, of uh, what we offer here is called short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. Now what does it mean? short moment of allowing everything you feel, you think, you might pop up, like right now, maybe you have like, I have no idea what you're talking about, or I think I just, I don't know, I'm, I'm jealous, I'm angry, or I'm hungry, or whatever you think now, you let it be as it is for a short moment. And what does it mean to let it be as it is? It's to not try and replace it with another thought, like a positive thinking not try to avoid it in any way. Not, okay, not think about it, I will concentrate, I will just sit here and listen. Let it just flow on by without doing anything. Let the data, thought, emotion, sensation be as it is, without doing anything for an instant. Relax body and mind completely. And then repeat that again and again, whenever you remember to do so. So even if you think, okay, I need to remember now, when, when should I do it? Just rest naturally as you are. Rest naturally and let everything be as it is. And when you repeat these short moments, they become continuous in a very effortless way. You might think there is no way I can let my anger be as it is. There is no way I can let my jealousy be as it is. Otherwise, I will get crazy. But then in my experience, applying these short moments gave me a complete... Um, relief, complete freedom of these ups and downs, of um, trying to hold on to all my positive experiences, thoughts and emotions, and trying to get rid of all the bad ones. Because I really try to be positive. That's what I did all my life. Try to be positive, try to think that everything will go well. And it's, it's okay to do so. But then there is something about us that is always stable, always stable and always free always reliable and it's it's not um, it's always for the benefit of all we can tap into great solutions when we rely on open intelligence for the benefit of all but first of all we have to see it within ourselves with our own experiences with our own flow of data because it's it's crazy also over here if we let it be as it is we see there are so many things we have to face for the benefit of all. So boredom, anger, desire, and constant negativity maybe, criticism, gossiping, all these things that we try to really avoid seeing in ourselves 
try to get rid of or diminish, kill, <laughs> right? In here, we invite you, let it be as it is. It doesn't mean that you will act on everything that comes up. But when you recognize your own intelligence, your open intelligence for short moments, when you relax completely and let it be as it is, you come to see that you're completely free of these data strings. And there is also so much responsibility, natural responsibility that you take for your thoughts and emotions. There is no way to harm anyone when you let it be as it is. And that's what I experienced. It was an amazing for me to realize that I can be completely negative. You know, even now, it's not that I always like have rosy thoughts and emotions. And, you know, I think about uh, my husband and how romantic he is and... I don't know, and everything, everyone is so beautiful, and the world is amazing. No, there is really access to see reality as it is, awakening, and recognizing reality as it is, and letting it be as it is for a short moment, many times. And when you let it be as it is, you recognize again your power to be of great benefit. So for me, in a practical way, for my own family, even with my family, I always so much, I had so many thoughts and feelings about them and try to change them, try to change myself, first of all, then, of course, trying to change everyone so they will fit me, try to change my husband, my friends, try to change opinion, opinion about politics or opinions about, just name it, anything, anything. I had so many comments about every single person who is good, who is bad, who is worse, who is better. And it's amazing how a short moment just works because, first of all, the responsibility to see the data as it is, to let it be as it is, and not to act on that in any way. But it comes so naturally that you, you don't need to make up an idea of how to be in your life. It comes so natural in your own experience that you just see that it's not beneficial. You just know, you discern, you have insight and discernment. You tap into insight and discernment of what will be of most benefit, what will be of value, what to say, what not to say. <laughs> you know, that's just, just, not just like impulsively act and say whatever you think and do. That's not open intelligence. That's not complete freedom. So the freedom here, and it's not only here, it's innate to everyone. It's the power to know and be of benefit to all, and bring great solutions for the benefit of all to this. Yeah, like you shared so, so powerfully, there's so many things that people experience that are really, that's great suffering. And that's why we also motivate it. And if you see the sign balance view for the benefit of all, just check it out. That's the training. And apply these short moments for today. We have also introductory training tomorrow where you can get to know the written texts and the texts, they evoke your power to know. They evoke open intelligence in your own experience. And while testing the training, you really see how it's so natural to each one of us. It doesn't speak about a person. It doesn't speak about ideas. It speaks about your own experience. And it's really amazing to have also all the support that is needed, the short moments. We have different trainers. It's not only me and Adrian today. We have different trainers from uh, different places in the world and so many people from all over the world, the global community, that really just wanting to take this. It's a call for action. It's a call for action for the benefit of all. And we also committed to that. And not just only as an idea, Let's be for the benefit of all. But in, in, when you come to a training, when you do a training, you really hear the experiences of people, how it works for them in their life, how it works in, in our family lives, how it works in our, in our jobs or whatever we do in our life or want to do in our life, how it works in boredom or exhaustion and depression, you know, things that we so wanted to get rid of. We let them be as they are and we see that they have great power to be of benefit to all. There is nothing to avoid in yourself. Because if we are not facing everything fully, we will never be able to be of benefit to all. It's just the way it is. We have to face reality as it is and let it be as it is. 
And letting it be as it is doesn't mean a passive state that we just sit and speak about that. But we have so much energy and power and availability, freedom, complete freedom from our victimhood to our thoughts and emotions, thinking that we are a victim of our thoughts and emotions. Again and again, the same stories we told about ourselves, the same, I'm like this, I'm like that, and you know, I'm bored, I will never get rid of it, I'm depressed. All these stories, it's a complete freedom that opens up within you in recognizing open intelligence, in practicing short moments. That's what it will give to you. And once you sit in yourself, there is no way not to sit in everyone else. First of all, you, you, you don't see yourself as a victim any longer. And then you don't see anyone else as a victim too. And naturally, you feel so empowered to be of benefit in each time, place and circumstance and to anyone. You know, when I did the, probably you heard about the amazing training we have. It's a fundamental training in the Balance View called the 12 Empowerments, which definitely, it's actually starting next week. And it's a 12 day training where you go through all your belief systems and principal data streams, things that, you, things that we took for so long to be something to have an independent nature about ourselves, about reality, about life, about culture, about anything. And we look into all this principal data in a very powerful way, an instinctive way. Instinctively, we recognize that we can let them be as they are and we make direct changes in our relationship, in relationship that we have been avoided for so long between ourselves and also anyone else. So for me, it was an amazing cut, cutting through all the data, all these identities I took myself to be. And now it's like, since the training, I really got the tools to know <laughs> just how to be the optimal human beings. And, but not that someone is telling me what to do. It's within myself, the solution to know what to bring about every day that will benefit all how to relate to people and um, <laughs> not trying to be positive anymore because that was annoying for me. It was such a responsibility to be positive all the time. Really, I <laughs> first of all, okay, I have to be positive. I have to change it into something positive. And then my family, my friends came to me with stories and things that they're suffering from. And I'm, it will be fine. Just try to think about something positive. And of course, I tried my best. There is nothing wrong about that. But still, there is something so powerful that can open up in just letting positive data be as they are and letting negative data be as they are. And from that vantage, we have a balanced view. A balanced view open up. A balanced view that knows what to do in each time, place and circumstance. So today we specifically wanted to share with you about the 12 empowerments because it's an opportunity to really do it, to go for it. It's something that I will never, you know, it's a gift that once you do it, there is no way back. It's not like you do it, you feel blissed out, and then it's over. It's for the benefit of all, and it's something that you can provide and implement directly into your life, in everyday life, every day and forever. Because you have a trainer, you have the community, you have short moments, and you have a global community and you can really see how, you can really see from the first moment, results. Results. Not just like, oh, I hope one day it will be fine. It's like immediate benefit, immediate benefit. So letting that burden be as it is. And you know everything that you try to change yourself so you will be a good person for yourself. And, for me, it was such a relief to let myself just be. I, all my life, I thought maybe I'm not knowledgeable enough or I'm not maybe I'm stupid or I don't know things enough. And it was always in my way. You know, I took these things to be limited. And now it's, it's just so opened up and I let myself be as I am. And in that, there is great relaxation that you can let boredom be as it is without doing anything. So much fun, such a relief and such freedom. And within that, there is great capacity to do all kinds of things too. So it's not taking into any extremes as well. It's really to have a balanced view and balanced perspective 
to, to see how to benefit your life and the life of everyone.